What is crack a ladies and gentlemen? My name is Sergeant Mooby, and today I am bringing you a game of Domination on Underground. I am using some kind of LSW. I think it's the PKP Pashenge... Uh, whatever that last word is, but I can't pronounce it for shit, so whatever. And welcome to my 100th video. Now today I'm going to go on a little bit of a rant, um, which, you know, some of you may not agree with, but, you know, it's YouTube, I can speak my mind, and, you know, chances are some other like-minded people are going to pick up on this. Um, and that is, you know, the 25 kill streaks that Infinity Ward have decided to put into their Call of Duty games, um, be that the Nuke or the Moab. And for a number of reasons, I think that having a kill streak at 25 um, it's plainly a bad idea. Uh, basically, uh, in Modern Warfare 2, as you all, all already know, there was a lot, a lot of boosting. Um, if you don't know what boosting is, that was it was two people on opposite teams sitting in a corner, attack inserting, and one of them shoots the other one in the face until they get a nuke, and then the game's over. Um, and to be honest, I think it's ruined what could possibly be, um, you know, some very decent games. Uh, I know I got a lot of, you know, quite good games on Modern Warfare 2 and I couldn't post them, or I didn't want to post them, basically because someone got a nuke through boosting, and I thought it would just ruin the video because there were boosters in it and I didn't find them and I couldn't stop what they were doing. So, you know, boosting, um, it's, it's going to be in every Call of Duty game for, you know, however long Call of Duty lasts. Um, I think I saw a couple of people boosting for Chopper Gunner Dogs and Blackbird and, and Hinds and whatever in, in Black Ops because purely people don't want a challenge. But in Modern Warfare 3, um, the Moab, even though you don't have to select it as a kill streak, it still kind of promotes camping, and it promotes boosting as well. Because um, yesterday, actually, I I got Moab done purely because the guy I was my team was spawn trapped to beyond beyond recognition. Um, I think the guy probably had some kind of hack anyway. But um, yeah, we were spawn trapped beyond recognition on dome, and this guy he was just camping, um, wasn't even running around all that much, and he was just being such a dick um, and he was Spanish as well not that that you know makes any difference but he was Spanish so it it kind of it, him being Spanish doesn't matter I don't even want, know why I brought that up but never mind um, yeah it, it, it just really really annoyed me that people decide that yes I'm gonna go for a Moab it promotes camping it promotes boosting it promotes being a dick in the lobby afterwards, going, yeah, I moabbed you, and you know, the whole Call of Duty community was built on, hopefully, built on, you know, good sportsmanship. Uh, Smack Talk, it's always going to be there in every single game that you ever play. Smack Talk is going to be there, but if you get a moab, um, you know, you should do it gracefully. You know, don't beast on the people and then rub salt into the wounds. I mean, yeah, smack talk is fine. I don't particularly partake in smack talk because I get frustrated and I get angry. And when I get angry, I can't play. So, yeah, I don't partake in smack talk. But, um, yeah, it's, it's just a really, really weird thing that would suddenly appear in, you know, after World at War and... Uh, Call of Duty 4 and and then Black Ops I thought Infinity Ward would have realised that after the fiasco of the nuke they wouldn't have decided to put in uh, a 25 kill streak which it kind of makes me think that if it's backed by popular de popular demand, it's like quickscoping if it's backed by popular demand who the fuck is requesting it? Is it the 12 year olds that aren't even old enough to be playing the game? Or is it people that have all the hacks and all the cheats and can easily, you know, pull off 
a 360 ladder saw no scope purely by just looking at the screen and letting the controller do the work. Um, obviously in Modern Warfare 3 it helps if you have the reaction times of a freaking mongoose um, but you know I don't think people should be penalized obviously death streaks are there to kind of give people that aren't all that good a leg up I know that um, recently I've been having a lot of death streaks simply because I haven't been playing and I've been I've been doing myself challenges like going around with a USP and a throwing knife and just trying to use that. Or in this video, um, I've been leveling up the. Uh, oh, excuse me. I've been leveling up the LMGs purely because I'm sick and tired of using exactly the same guns, game in, game out, and getting effectively fuck all out of it. What do you get out of using exactly the same gun every fucking game and expecting the same results? If you expect different results by doing the same fucking thing, you're insane. Because that is the definition of insanity. Doing exactly the same thing over and over again and expecting different results. But, you know, using different guns, um, it's kind of what Call of Duty was all about. Of, in World at War and everything. Um, and in Black Ops especially. Because I don't think there was, in Black Ops, I don't think there was any gun that was particularly overpowered apart from the 74U. But in Modern Warfare 3, you see ACRs, MP7s, PP90s, uh, P90s. You never see the LMGs. You never see, well, you occasionally see people running around with a riot shield, but they're just stupid. Um, yeah, you, you see all these people running around, especially the FNG fucking 9s. You know why I call them the FNG? Because they're the fucking noob gun. It's fucking ridiculous. And they said they patched it, but they didn't patch it. They just lowered the fire rate, and they're still ridiculous. <sighs> Part of me thinks that um, Infinity War don't actually care about their game after it's been launched. I know they've uh, done all that stuff with Elite and trying to make their game more interactive and trying to make it more social and everything. But... If the community isn't willing to actually be part of the community, and which was built on sportsmanship, and you know, if you uh, noticed half the shit that goes on in regular games, and then you go over to MLG, none of this shit happens. Absolutely none of it. But you know, bollocks to it. It's all bollocks anyway. Um, yeah. Sorry I haven't been posting all that much. Life's kind of taken a taken over for a bit. So I haven't really been gaming all that much. But yeah, hopefully you'll be seeing a bit more from me. I've got a couple more uh, nice streaks that I can post up for you guys if y'all want to see that. And um, yeah. Well, I've kind of run out of things to talk about on this one. So I'm just going to let you enjoy the rest of the video. I've been Sergeant Ruby. I want to thank you all very much for watching. And I shall see you all next time. Take it easy, guys. Have a good one. Be sure to follow me on Twitter. That way you'll get all the latest from me, how many videos I've uploaded, what I had for breakfast, and how much of a hangover I had last Saturday night.